guys today we are going to learn about how to write to an algorithm to find the factorial of a number what is factorial factorial means if i write 3 factorial it means 3 into 2 into 1 okay if it is 4 factorial it means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 i hope you got the concept now let's see how we can write an algorithm Always the step one is start. Always step one, start. And last step is always stop. Now let's see. First, first of all, we are going to read n. Suppose I am going to take n as 3. Okay. So what is 3 factorial? 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1, which is equal to 6. Okay. Now, let's see. What is step 3? Step 3 is V is equal to 1 and P is equal to 1. So we are going to initialize. Here factorial is product, right? So we, are ne we, never, we will never take the initial, uh, initial values as 0 because anything into 0 is 0. So we initially take it as 1. V is equal to 1 and P is equal to 1. Where this P is known as the factorial. This is what we are going to find out. And this V is the first number, you know. So we will just solve it and see. Now, what is the new factor or what is the new P? New P is equal to P into V. What is P? P is 1 and V is also 1. So P is equal to 1 into 1. That is equal to 1. And what is the new V? The new V is equal to V plus 1. What is the... Uh, initial v initial v is 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 okay fine now let's see next step says if v is less than or equal to n let's see if 2 is less than or equal to 3 is 2 less than or equal to 3 yes 2 is less than 3 right so we need to go to step 4 what is step 4 says step 4 says p is equal to p into v what is our current P? Our current P is 1. So P is equal to, use another pen. P is equal to 1 into V. What is the current V? The current V is 2. So 1 into 2, it is, which is equal to 2. Now the next step says V is equal to V plus 1. What is the current V? The current V is equal to 2. So the new V is equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. Now let's see if v is less than or equal to n. Is 3 less than or equal to n? Yes. 3 is equal to 3. So we have to go to step 4. What is step 4 says? Step 4 says that p is equal to p into v. And what is the current p? The current p is 2 and the new p will be 2 into V. What is the current V? The current V is 3. 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. Now the next step says V is equal to V plus 1. So the new V is equal to V plus 1. What was the current V? The current V is 3. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Now let's see the condition. Is 4 less than or equal to 3? No. 4 is greater than 3. So we need to go to step uh, greater than 3 so we have to exclude this part else go to step 7 what does step 7 says print p what is our current p our current p is 6 so the answer will be 6 hope you got it thank you